Well, to discuss that election in Morocco, I'm pleased to be joined now on the line by Julia Simini from the University of Bologna. Uh, thanks very much for your time today on France 24. Look, these are devastating results for the PJD. What went so wrong for them? Well, actually, I mean, it's still early to say, but undoubtedly, uh, the replacement, for instance, at the head of government in 2017 of the um, popular, outspoken and less uncompromising page the leader, Ben Kirane, with his colleague, Elos Mani, who is renowned for his discretion and moderation, has been seen by some as a tactical move of the monarchy to eliminate a troublesome figure and undoubtedly had an impact on the population. Since 2012, in fact, Ben Kirane did not hesitate in his speeches to use the expression tahakum that we could roughly translate as hidden grip on power that means the deep state of Morocco. So this change may have affected public uh, opinion, but above all, at issue is not simply the popularity of the leadership, but the PGD's performance and management at the local level, which has disappointed many. In addition, as we heard before, the new electoral law certainly didn't help the performance of the PGD this time at the election. You talk there a little about the deep state in Morocco. Um, I wonder whether Moroccans feel that elections like this actually don't matter very much for them because the king and the monarchy still retain so much power in the country. Well, it has to be said that if you look at the most recent uh, surveys in the country, um, most of the uh, population do not trust political parties, do not trust parliament, or has very, very low levels of trust in these uh, institutions. And in 2011, when the PJD for the first time came to power, it brought with it the promise of a renewal of the political scene. But of course, this was quite difficult to uh, achieve. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure that the defeat of the PGD surprised many, perhaps even those who wanted others to win, but not to that extent. Specifically, I doubt that the so-called Magazine, as we said, the deep state of Morocco, wanted the PGD out of the government completely, especially since being in the opposition could restore the party's credibility. But given these results, it is perhaps uh, now more likely that it will not be included in the government coalition that will be in any case inevitable. And that governing coalition will be head, we imagine, by what looks like the, the victorious party here, the RNI. Talk to us a bit about the kind of government you think that they might form. I mean, it's headed by a billionaire. He's an individual the scene as being close to the monarchy. Um, how different is Morocco going to look under its rule? Uh, well, that's a difficult question, uh, actually. As you said, the RNE, that is the National Rally of Independence, is a party close to the monarchy, is a liberal party, especially as for the uh, economy, although it is from the centre-right. Uh, and the party invests a lot of money in the uh, digital campaign to promote uh, its uh, leader, who is a very popular person. So um, we will have to see, perhaps, there will be a coalition between the irony and the party of authenticity, uh, party of authenticity and modernity. But not only, because the results show, already show a very fragmented picture within the parliament. So perhaps once again, we will have a very fractured government, as was the last one uh, led by the Islamist party, who counted uh, six parties, not to mention technocrats and other so-called independents. So uh, negotiations are still ongoing between the leaders of the different parties. Uh, finally, and just briefly, if you can, you mentioned the idea that this new government may be a fractured one. Does that mean that it may struggle to combat some of the systemic issues um, that Moroccan voters care about, specifically, I suppose, the economy? 
Uh, well, that's true, but it's uh, also true that most of the uh, parties that uh, will definitely to uh, take part in the new government were already part of the previous ones. So the RNI, the Istiklal, although then it left the USFP. So all these parties actually are not new to government uh, coalitions. And unfortunately, I quite skeptical that they will be able to propose very significant structural reforms for the country. Julia Semini for us there uh, from the University of uh, Bologna. Thanks very much indeed.